Welcome back everyone to the Hello World guys, this is episode number 7 of the beginner series, the bonus uh, series on, of the beginner Unreal Engine series and in this series what we are going to, uh, this video what we are going to do is we are going to add you know the UI, finish the UI for the pickup system that we had. So basically we had a couple of powerups in our game and we have also got a UI to go along with it but it actually does not work the UI. Uh, so that kind of sucks so we need to finish that and I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically go under main game UI then I'm going to take this and then I'm going to uh, go under here and I'm going to create a binding now I'm just going to go under like get health and I'm going to basically copy the whole thing okay then I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to and you can rename this to something like from get percent to like uh, uh, get time I guess Alright, you can basically paste the stuff here and once you do that, you can basically take this. But instead of uh, actually, uh, you know, taking uh, this, I'm going to, by the way, divide this by 5 and I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take the, uh, okay, let me do this. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, let me see, in here we have got range timer and range time. So I'm going to first get my range timer and then I'm going to get my range time. Alright that's uh, that's great and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this in the bottom because this represents the total time and this represents the current time and i'm going to plug that in here and plug this in here now that should essentially work as you can see it's it's essentially working and we have got it decreasing at the correct rate now how uh, we do need to do a couple of other things mm -hmm. so currently it's being show, uh, shown at all times not only when uh, we you know basically we get it started from the beginning so i'm going to go under this range timer and i'm going to set this to be zero Alright, so what and and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under my I'm going to actually remove this print string now we don't need this and what I'm going to do is going I'm going to go under my increase range and when we increase range I set my this and I also set my range timer so I'm going to go ahead and say uh, range timer timer and I'm going to set this range timer to whatever our range time is. All right. So I'm going to hit play and you can see currently it's nothing and uh, we've got our increased range thing showing but currently it's not actually doing anything much uh, and uh, we've got an enemy standing far away and uh, uh, if uh, yeah you can see this spawns and if I pick this up then what happens essentially is that I get increased range and it lasts until uh, uh, you know uh -oh. and it lasts until mm, basically uh, till 5 seconds. So now, uh, that, uh, considering that that works, what we need to do is we need to make it so that uh, this thing, this UI, is only visible when we actually have got, um, yeah, you know, an actual amount of time. So how are we going to do that? Well, we can actually implement it completely instead of uh, here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy this. But before I do anything else, I'm going to just go under the event graph, the actual event graph of this. And in here, I'm going to go under my event tick. And I'm going to mm, basically get these two things. So uh, we've got this. Uh, and by the way, you need to s uh, select both of these, or you can basically put them inside of like a canvas panel, I guess. Uh, but you need to basically make sure that both of these are set to be variables. So this, uh, you can see that the progress bar is a variable, but this is not. You need want both of these to be variables. And if that is the case, by the way, I'm going to rename this variable to be like range text. Uh, and I'm going to uh, like mean this variable to be like range time. All right, so we are going to basically uh, go in the graph, and I'm going to get my range text and range time, both of these uh, variables. Get uh, all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say set enabled. Well, set is enabled for widget, and what we are going to do is we are going to set it for. Uh, if I can, can I do like both of these? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to set it enabled to be. Uh, currently it's set to false but what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to uh, paste this uh, the clear thing that we had got so I'm going to paste this here and uh, then if our range timer is uh, like you know greater than uh, let's say uh, greater than zero if our range timer is greater than zero which we it means we have got our timer activated which means that we essentially got the power up then we're going to set them to be enabled or else we are not going to do that and if I do this you can see it's basically disabled them but we want them to be completely uh, uh, you know completely finished up so I'm going to say set visibility uh, visibility and we are going to set this visibility to uh, be let's say uh, let me move this here and by the way you need to plug both of these in here and I'm going to set the visibility in here to be uh, 
uh, like uh, hidden uh, and mm, we are going to set it to hidden depending on whether we have got this or not so we are going to choose a select node here select uh, actually choose a select like that alright so uh, you basically need to move this forward a bit and move this uh, forward a bit like that uh, bit as well and you I'm going to plug this in here and if this is uh, like false then we are going to set them to be hidden and if it's true we are going to set it to be visible and it, let me hit play currently it's not here okay, all right but uh, uh, all right uh, but uh, uh, you can see that the that pickup is not spawning yet uh, it should spawn all right is it here all right there it is uh, okay, so we have got the increased range pick up a bit far away and I'm going to go ahead and pick this up And as soon as I do that you can see I've got increased range for this amount of time and it will end after this amount of time uh, And it, it does end after that amount of time So you can see that we have got this system working and yeah, that's pretty awesome So yeah, this is pretty much it for this video in the next video We'll uh, I'm actually trying to do like uh, animation in the next video. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for that and uh, bye